Hi guys, welcome back. Thanks for watching. The layout I'm working on today is for a challenge issued by the Hip Kit Club, and it is a color challenge using the photo that you're looking at here. That is the uh, color challenge that we were issued, and it was issued on the Facebook group. So I wanted to participate in that, so I am just going to be sharing with you my process for that layout using those colors. And what I'm using is I am uh, going to be creating a layout using photos of my grandson uh, from the pumpkin patch. And um, this was actually his, actually second time, but last year he was only, he was a baby. He was like three months old. So this year was very different. He was much more into it. He was so excited and had so much fun. And uh, so it was just really a fun, a fun time, fun year. So uh, that's what I'm going to be doing my layout on is um, the pictures of him in the pumpkin patch. And what I am starting here is I'm using some texture paste and I'm using that template from uh, my favorite things with the dots and I'm just randomly placing those around that strip of orange I wanted to use that strip of orange but I didn't want to just use a flat orange I wanted to have some texture a little bit of extra um, color to it so I'm creating with the texture paste the polka dots and you'll see they are random I didn't want them completely filled in and, and uh, they're kind of just random and so that's what I'm doing, kind of um, cleaning up a little bit of the dots there and uh, drying that and setting that. And um, what I wanted to do is I was going to attempt to do, you're going to see me use some gelatos. I get out the white gelato. I was going to try to do like a wash effect on that. And um, it wasn't turning out as well as I thought. I probably should have just used uh, like a watered down paint. Um, but I had the gelatos out and I was just going to give them a, a try and in the end it ended up working out okay. I kind of wanted to just tone down that orange a little bit. I wanted to give it a little bit more, uh, a la another layer of uh, color, um, but I wanted to kind of make like a washed effect on it. And in the end it ended up working out. It was just a little bit more than, I had to work with it a little bit more than I had uh, planned or thought I would have to. So ended up working out. So um, there I'm just kind of blending those gelatos in, adding some more water and trying to get some of that color transferred there for that wash. And I'm going to end up just leaving the white polka dots because I did like how uh, just that effect was the, with another layer and it was the part of the color challenge. It was part of the color in the challenge was the white. Um, it was actually white and cream in the color uh, photo so um, I just wanted to leave those and um, leave that that layer of color I'm sorry <laughs> I'm, it's been a long day I uh, started work early this morning like at six o'clock this morning and so I'm trying to get this voiceover done and I've tried this is the third time uh, that I've tried and I have kept messing up so I, I don't know what I've already said and what's actually got recorded but um, I'm going to make another attempt to actually get this finished so I can get it uploaded tonight, um, back uh, uploaded to my channel. And this layout was actually, it was, I think I, I'm trying to think, I did this on, it was right after Halloween. That was, let's see, Halloween was on a Friday. This was the following Sunday. And I, I have to, I felt so out of it when I was doing this layout because as I mentioned on my channel before, we had to put our, our dog to sleep, our um, golden retriever we had him for 12 years and he was just such a part of our family and uh, we had to do that on actually on Halloween on the 31st and this was two days later that was Friday and I was doing this layout on Sunday and I really just felt still like I was just so not even in the mood I just was so down and he used to always come and sit underneath my feet when I was in my scrapbook room and so um, it was just you know we were still trying to get over that this was only Sunday and so when I was doing the layout I just felt like oh gosh nothing was coming together and I just kind of felt like it just wasn't my best um, when I was doing it but I wanted to get it done the challenge was issued on the Facebook group and I felt like I needed to just kind of put my hands to something and kind of get my mind off of it a little bit so I plowed through and I got the layout done and so it was just a couple days after that happened so um, anyway you're gonna see me just putting things out and I am so sorry my head keeps getting in the way I cannot believe my camera was set um, strange and I kept getting my head under there so I do apologize about having to look at my head and my hair um, but I think it goes away for so I, I don't keep leaning over and so it's gonna go away here in a minute um, but what I'm doing is really just using a lot of layers of paper I, I had um, 
the hip kit for October still had some left and that's what I was using there. I did layer some of the um, LA Studio, the leaves and pumpkins, those little flashcards. Um, those were in my stash. I have uh, had those in my stash so I pulled those out to use as a layering piece and now I'm just adding my title and I'm titling it I found one because my grandson when we were in the patch there with the big pumpkins he was just ecstatic I mean he was having so much fun and I don't know if you can see the glare on the um, the lights on the top photo he was clapping his hands and he was so excited and he kept trying to pick them up and we kept laughing and saying oh he found the one he wants to take home because it was like way more than he did and uh, so he kept trying to pick them up and uh, you can see in the bottom photo he's trying to pick them up and and he would bend over and grab it and he'd go oh and he would like grunt like he was trying to pick it up and it was just the cutest thing and so uh, I wanted to capture that and uh, so that's why I, I titled it I found one and uh, he found one he wanted to take home and uh, ended up taking a much smaller one home that he could carry <laughs> and uh, this uh, my daughter she has a big one but it was one that they they purchased but um, he wanted to carry around a, a, a little pumpkin so they found a little one for him that he could carry around so anyway it was a lot of fun so um, really what I'm doing here is I'm just layering some pattern pieces and um, pattern papers I should say just layering some pieces and a little bits of that ephemera pack that uh, we got so many so many pieces of and the LA studio cork pieces I do I love those the, the leaves and then the little heart and then I'm just bending down some of my papers and kind of roughing those up a little bit and I'm feeling the wrap up coming here I know I'm getting close to the end and just trying to tuck in a little more a few more little bits and pieces to the layout and adding a few of those word strips. We got some like chipboard word strips and then there were some on that Teresa Collins letter sheet uh, that were really nice. So I pulled some of those off and used them. And now I'm going to do a bit of journaling. I'm going to do it just straight on the layout looking for the perfect pen. <laughs> And uh, so I'm going to journal straight uh, on the, the background there. And this is good. I just felt like it was good for me to just get the layout done that night. Like I said, I was wanting to participate in the challenge. And this was Sunday night when I was working on it. And it ended. It was over that weekend. So um, I just jumped in and, and tried to get it done. And all in all, I was happy with it. And I'm going to be adding just some finishing touches here with my date stamp and I'm going to add some enamel dots. Now in one of my videos uh, somebody had asked about the enamel dots that I was using there with the different shades of the same color. Those are actually from Freckled Fawn and they have all different colors available and you get like all kind of like an ombre in the same shade. So um, those are really nice. So then I'm adding some ink splatters and I'm going to uh, dry those and be wrapping that up and I'm going to leave you with a still shot and again thank you so much for watching today and please feel free to leave me a comment if you have any questions and we'll see you again soon thanks